On Thursday, NASA announced the first privately run supply mission to the International Space Station. It will take off on October 7th. It is a big event for the company SpaceX and its founder and CEO Elon Musk. He's also CEO of Tesla Motors, the electric car company. Business Week magazine calls him a 21st century industrialist and a throwback to business legends like John D. Rockefeller, Elon Musk. Is with us now, and I'm pleased to have him here. Let me talk about what you're going to do in space. Sure. I mean, what's going to happen in the next several years? Well, I think I think a lot's going to happen in the next several years. Um, I think we're going to see the first uh, uh, private uh, orbital uh, astronaut transport. So, right. in, in, in about three years, we'll be transporting um, as American astronauts to the space station right. uh, for NASA. Uh, we were currently. This is a contract you have with NASA. Yes, uh, we, we have a contract for uh, cargo transport to and from the space station. We've successfully demonstrated that, mm -hmm. and now we're moving on to astronaut transport in a few years. Uh, long term, uh, our goal is to develop the technology necessary to transport large numbers of people and cargo to Mars, ultimately with the goal of establishing um, a self-sustaining civilization on Mars. Why do you believe that's possible? Well, I, 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 I know it's possible. I know it's within the realm of the possible. Actually, I didn't know that until maybe two years ago. And so what happened to tell you? Um, the, the calculations worked out. But I mean, the, life is sustainable on Mars? Well, you need to live in a dome initially. Yeah. Um, but um, uh, over time, you could uh, terraform Mars to make it like Earth. And eventually, you could walk around outside without anything on Mars. So it's, is... it's a fixer upper of a planet. I want yeah. To... Yeah. Exactly. It is. It is. <laughs> uh, what is it about space for you, and what is it about your belief that the private sector can do the job? Well, um, I, I, I think uh, in order for us to have a future that's exciting and inspiring, it has to be one where we are um, a space-faring civilization. I think if, if, or at least to me it does. Um, and I, I think we, we want to get out there, we want to be on, on, on multiple planets, we want to make the, the things that we've read about in science fiction books and seen in movies become a reality. Mm. Um, that, that's the kind of future that I think is very exciting versus one where we're confined forever to Earth. Mm. So um, but I think we want to be on a path towards making that happen. What, what's happening in the electric car market that you have been a pioneer in? Well, with, with electric cars, the, the, the real trick is to make electric cars so compelling that you want to buy them um, over a gasoline car, even even if the price of gasoline is not high. Um, so we, we have a fundamental issue because the price of gasoline should be much higher than it is if it would, if, 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 if the price of gasoline reflected the true cost of gasoline mm -hmm. in, in terms of the damage to the environment, the, it would be much higher. But since it does not, uh, we have to make really compelling electric cars. That's what Tesla is about. Tesla is about accelerating the advent of electric cars. And why did you shift to uh, emphasis on a sedan from a sports car? Well, a sedan is, is a, it can access a much broader market, right. um, and uh, it, it's really about making the mass market electric cars affordable. So we started off with a low volume, high price car, then, then step two was a mid price, mid volume car, and then step three will be a low price, high volume car. You have had a life that has enabled you, you started with PayPal, one of the, and a whole group of billionaires came out of PayPal. Right. Uh, and then you have gone from success to success. What is it? that enables you to dream like this and make things happen? What's the secret to you? Um, I don't know. I, I, uh, I, I, I think... Uh, is it dreaming and believing, uh, or is it implementation of ideas? Well, I, 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 think, I think most people reason by analogy, and I, I, I try to reason from first principles, sort of it's a physics approach to reasoning. Yeah. I'm not sure if that makes any sense to people, but essentially, the, if you want to figure out something new, it's best to start with the, the most fundamental principles, this, the things that seem to be the, the most fundamental truths in something, and reason upward from there, as opposed to reason by analogy. Yeah, I, get, I understand. Okay. You know, I, I ask often, who is the next Steve Jobs? You know, and, and a lot of people suggest Larry Page, people say Jack Dorsey. Uh, my friend Andrew Ross Sorkin said, uh, it's probably you. Well, um, it's kind of bad to say that. <laughs> nice to have you here. Thank you very much.